So, good day everyone. Today, we're going to discuss a new topic, general form of the equation of circle. Last time, we discussed about the standard form of the equation of circle. And we can use that equation in deriving the general form of the equation of circle. Melt or most essential learning competencies solves problems on circles using the general form. Okay, before we proceed to the general form, let us have a review, priming activities, finding the center and radius of the circle and vice versa. So number one, find the center of the circle. So of course, you know what to do here. Click on the underlined choice or words. You know what to do here, diba? H is 1 and K is 3. So definitely this is the answer. Center is 1, 3. If your answer is negative 1, negative 3, then that's not the correct answer. And should be 1, 3, right? Proceed to the next item. Find the radius of the circle. Of course, you know what to do. Get the square root of 400. Is it 40 or 20? Definitely the answer is 20. Right? 20 times 20 is 400. 40 times 40 is... Oh no, 1,600. Diba? Um, this is the correct answer, 20. Okay, pag 40 ang answer mo, try again. And it should be 20. Excellent. Next item. This time, find the center and radius of the circle. So, you can see here, from the equation, the center is at... Sorry, sorry. From number 3, the center is at negative 5, 2, right? So, negative 5, 2, pareho sila. But the radius is square root of 5. It's not 5, it should be square root of 5. Yun, yun ang answer. Next item. Find the center and radius of the circle. Of course, 0 yung h. k is negative 11. So, this should be the answer. 0, negative 11. Uh, square root of 24 is 2 square root of 6. Yun, ang correct answer. Next item. This time, given the center and radius, find the equation of the circle in standard form. Okay, 2, two 6. Ang center, radius is 6. So, substitute this, h, k, and r in the standard form of the equation of circle. So, this will be the result. x minus 2, quantity squared, plus y minus 6, quantity squared equals 36. Okay. You are correct. Next item. Center negative 3, 7. Radius is 9. What's the equation? So, x minus 3 is... Sorry. Number 6. x minus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 7 squared equals 81. Definitely is not the answer. So, this should be the correct answer. Right? And next item. Number 7. Find the equation of a circle in standard form. With center 8, negative 4, radius square root of 7. So, we have x minus 8. If you square this, it should be 7, not square root of 7. So, this, is, this should be the answer, right? And let us go to the next. Find the equation of a circle in standard form with a given center and radius. Negative 4, negative 6. Radius is 2, square root of 3. So, uh, the result is, substitute this to the standard form. Is it minus 4 pa rin? Hindi na, no? Dapat plus 4. Kasi x minus, neg minus negative 4 is plus 4. y minus negative 6 is y plus 6. Then if you square this, that means 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. Now, let's go to our lesson proper, the general form of the equation of circle. So, using the standard form, let us derive the general form of the equation of circle. So, we have here the standard form x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So expanding the binomials and rearranging the terms, we'll obtain, you uh, square this, we have x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus y squared minus 2ky plus k squared equals r squared. Yun. Expand mo lang. Square mo yung binomials. And then let us arrange, rearrange the terms. Annex mo yung x squared and y squared, followed by negative 2hx, followed by negative 2ky, and then followed by the three constants, h squared plus k squared 
minus r squared transpose r squared, right? Now, if we let d cause negative 2h, if we let negative 2k as e, and if we let f h squared plus k squared minus r squared, then the preceding equation takes the form yun. x squared plus y squared plus gx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. This is now what we call the general form of the equation of circle. Okay, x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Now, using the general form, uh, let us now uh, write the general form of the circle in the form x squared plus dx plus y squared plus ey plus negative f. Okay, transpose lang natin yung f. So, yun, naging negative f. Then, by completing the square, complete this square, x squared plus dx, meaning divide d by 2, then square. d over 2 squared is 1 fourth d squared. Same is true with e, divide by 2, square mo is 1 fourth e squared. So, whatever you added to the left side, you add to the right side of the equation. So, if we factor this trinomial, it becomes x plus 1 half d quantity squared. If we factor this, y plus 1 half e quantity squared. Then, if you factor this, we have 1 fourth quantity d squared plus e squared minus 4f. So, so you can see yung general form naging standard form of the equation of circle. And from this standard form, uh, we can now identify the center and radius, which is ito. Nandito yung center niya. Yan, h, k. Ito naman yung radius, right? So, yung general form naging standard form, and from the standard form, we can now identify the center, which is yun, negative 1 half d and negative 1 half e, right? And what about the radius? Radius is, or r squared is 1 fourth quantity d squared plus e squared minus 4f, or r square root of d squared plus e squared minus 4f all over 2. Okay? So remember, the center of a circle, if the equation is given in general form, center is negative 1 up t, negative 1 up e. And for the radius, is square root of d squared plus e squared minus 4f all over 2. Or you can use r squared plus 1 fourth, d squared plus e squared minus 4f, and later on, get the square root of both sides. Yeah, yun. So let us now have our examples. Uh, applying the general form of the equation of circle and applying the formulas in finding the center and radius. So number one, give the center and radius using the derived formulas. Sketch the graph. So we have here letter A, B, and C. Okay. So let's start with letter A. X squared plus Y squared minus 18X plus 10Y plus 25 equals 0. First step, we need to identify the value of D, E, and F. So, you can see here, eight, D is negative 18, E is 10, and F equals 25, right? And, yon. So, from, if we have already identified D, E, and F, we can now solve for the center and radius. Let's solve for the radius first. Okay, you know the formula of radius. R squared equals 1 fourth times the quantity D squared plus E squared minus 4F. Then, substitute the values of D, E, and F in the formula. We have 1 fourth times negative 18 squared plus 10 squared minus 4 times 25. Then negative 18 squared is 324. 10 squared is 100. 4 times 25 is 100. Then add the numbers inside the bracket. 324 plus 100 plus minus 100 is 324. Then 1 fourth of 324 or 324 divided by 4 is 81. And then get the square root of both sides. Square root of 81 is 9. Therefore, the radius of this equation is 9. Okay. How about the center? How about the center of number 1, letter A? All we have to do is divide D and E by negative 2. So, yun na yung H is okay. So, for H, divided by negative 2 yung negative 18, 9. Divided by 2 yung, neg yung 10, negative 5 yung K. So, therefore, the center is at ne 9, negative 5 with the radius 9. Gets nyo? Dali lang, right? 
Now, uh, last step is, is of course we're going to sketch the graph of the circle whose center is 9, negative 5, radius is 9 in your graphing paper. Yeah, for that's number 1, letter A. Now, we'll proceed to letter B, number 1, letter B. Okay, listen. In letter B, the given equation is uh, not yet in its general form. So that's why we divide all terms by 4 first. So that part was natin na may coefficient yung x squared chaka y squared, right? So we must divide it by 4. Okay? Para matanggal yung coefficient ng x squared and y squared. And then it becomes x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 29 over 4. Yon. So what is D? 2. What is E? Negative 4. And what is F? Negative 29 over 4. So we're now ready to solve for the radius. You know the formula. Substitute it. The value of D. 2 squared plus negative 4 squared minus 4 times negative 29 over 4. 2 squared is 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times negative 29 over 4 is 29. Then add 4 plus 16 plus 29 is 49. Divide by 4 is 49 over 4. So what do you think uh, is the square root of 49 over 4? Square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 4 is 2. So 7 halves. 7 divided by 2. That's equivalent to 3.5. So let's check. We have here the radius. 3.5. Okay. That's the radius of the circle. How about the center? Okay. The center is you just multiply D. By negative 2, that's negative 1, that's bala yung h. Ito naman, divide by negative 2 yung e. Positive 2 yan yung k. Right? So, h is negative 1, k is positive 2. Therefore, the center is at negative 1, 2, and the radius is 3.5. And this is now the graph. You can see here, center is at negative 1, 2, with radius whose length is 3.5. Now we proceed to letter C, x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0. Okay, first step, identify D, E, and F. Yon, D is 6, E is 0, and F is negative 7. So, wala dito yung coefficient, I mean, wala dito yung y term, so 0 yung E. Then, let us solve for the radius formula, substitute it in the formula. 6 squared plus 0 squared minus 4 times negative 7. Then square, 36 plus 0 plus 28. So 36 plus 0 plus 28, 64, multiplied by 1 fourth, or divide by 4, that's equivalent to 16. So get the square root of both sides, R equals 4. So the radius is 4. How about the center? You know, radius is 4, how about the center? Ayun, clear mo na na. So center is, you know, divide mo ng 6 yan, ay negative 2, that's equivalent to negative 3. Divide mo ng negative 2 yan, ay sorry. Yun, divide mo ng negative 2 yan, that's 0 pa rin. 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. So, therefore, h uh, is 3, negative 3k is 0. So the center is at negative 3, 0, while the radius is 4. Okay. Then last step, sketch the graph, negative 3, 0, radius is 4. Okay, next, next examples, using the given, next problem I should say, using the given equations of circles, from number 1, reduce each of the following to the standard form, using completing the square method and give the center and radius. So, gamitin natin yung mga examples in number 1, but this time, we will use a different method. So in number one, we use a method which is by using the formula, right? Center, negative 1 up D, negative 1 up E. Pag radius, square root of uh, D squared plus E squared minus 4 F all over 2. But in solving the center and radius of a circle in general form, uh, there is another way to do that. That is by completing the square. And later on, uh, you will see which is easier, yung formula or completing the square. And whichever is easier for you to use, use only one method, okay? So, 
yun. Let us use the examples for number one, no? And of course, we will see to it that we will obtain the same answer. So for number letter number two, letter A, yes, same, same as number one, letter A. All we have to do to determine the center and radius of this equation in general form is to transform this general form to standard form. And pag naka standard form na, you can, of course, you can now see the center and radius from that equation. So general form, rearrange the terms, x squared minus 18x plus y squared plus 10y, transpose 25, negative 25. Then think of something to add to complete the square. What will you add here? What will you add there? Of course, divide this by 2 and then square it. 18 divided by 2, 9, 9 times 9, 81. 10 divided by 2, 5, 5 times 5, 25. So I will add 81, I will add 25. You know. And whatever you added to the left side of the equation, you will also add to the left side of the equation. Okay? You know, completing the square. And from here, let us now factor this and that, and then add the terms. You know. So the factor of this is x minus 9 quantity squared, and the factor of that is y plus 5 quantity squared. And if you add these three numbers, the answer is 81. So the general form, naging standard form, and from the standard form, we can now identify the center, which is 9, negative 5, radius is square root of 81, 9, right? <coughs> same, as, same answer as in number 1, A, right? Center negative 9 negative 5 radius is 9. Okay, now let's proceed to letter B. Squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 29 over 4. Ayan, rearrange the terms. Squared plus 2x, y squared minus 4y, transpose negative 29 over 4. Then let us complete the square. What will we add here? We will add 1 and we will add 4 here, right? Divide this by 2 square, divide this by 2 square. So 4, 1, done. Ayan. Then whatever we added, the left side, 1 and 4, add it to the right side of the equation. Ayan. So from here, let us now factor the trinomials, then add the constants, which is x plus 1 quantity squared is the factor of that. Y, squared, uh, y minus 2 quantity squared is the factor of this. And then if you add 29 over 4 plus 1 plus 4, 49 over 4. So from general form, it becomes standard form. And from standard form, we can now identify the center and radius, which is negative 1, 2. Radius is the square root of 49 over 4, 7 halves, or 3.5. Same answer is in number 1D, right? No need to graph, kasi nandun na yung graph sa number 1, diba? And of course, let us see, rearrange the terms, x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 7, transpose negative 7. And then, think of something to add to complete the squared. I will add here 9 plus 9, plus 9 also to 7. Because 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, right? Yun. So, yun. 7 plus 9 here is 16. Then you factor this trinomial, which is x plus 3 quantity squared plus y squared equals 16. So from the general form, it becomes standard form. And from the standard form, the center is negative 3, 0, and radius is 4. Ayan. Same answer as in our example in number 1, letter C. Now, let us also learn how to find the equation of the circle in general form given the center and radius of the circle. So, in our previous examples, number 1 and 2, given the equation, we solve for the center and radius. Now, this time, given the center and radius, we will solve for the equation of the circle in general form. So, vice versa ang ginagawa natin naman ito. So, number 3, find the equation of the circle in general form, given the center and radius of the circle. Sketch the graph. So, letter A is given. Center is 4, 5, radius is 3. So, first step, identify yung H, K, and R. Okay? So, because you will need this in substituting to the standard form. Okay? So, H is 4, K is 5, R is 3. So, after that, uh, 
all we have to do now is to substitute H, K, and R to the standard form of the circle. Okay. Yo, yo, x minus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 5 quantity squared equals 3 squared. Then square natin yung x minus 4 we have here. x squared minus 8x plus 16. Square mo yung y, y minus 5. y squared minus 10y plus 25. Then square mo yung 3 which is 9. Then rearrange the terms. Annex natin yung x squared and y squared followed by negative 8x minus 8x followed by minus 10y. Then add 16 and 25, which is 41. Then later on, transpose 9. 41 minus 9 is 32. So the equation of the circle whose center is 4, 5, and radius is 3 is this. x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 10y plus 32 equals 0. And this is now the graph of the circle. Whose equation of the circle whose center is 4, 5, radius is 3. Okay? squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 10y plus 32 equals 0. Now let's proceed to letter B. Given the center negative 2, 6, radius is 4. Find the equation of the circle. So given negative 2, 6, yung h negative 2, 6, k, r is 4. Then substitute these things is given to the standard form of the circle. Yan. Substitute x minus negative 2 becomes x plus 2. Square mo yung 4 becomes 16. 4 times 4 is 16. Then, squaring the binomial, x plus 2 square is x squared plus 4x plus 4. y minus 6 square is y, y squared minus 12y plus 36 equals 16. Then, rearrange the terms. Annex x squared and y squared followed by 4x minus 12y. Then, add 4 and 36, 40. Then, Next step, transpose natin yung 16. 40 minus 16 is 24. This is now the equation of the circle in general form, right? And this is the graph. Center negative 2, 6. Radius is 4 of the equation. x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 12y plus 24 equals 0. So, ayan, punta na tayo sa generalization. So, the equation of x squared plus y squared plus bx plus ey plus f equals 0 is called the general form for the equation of the circle. And note that it is an equation of the second degree in x and y. And always remember the formula in finding the center of the circle when the given equation is in general form. is this. Negative 1 up d, negative 1 up e. And the radius is... Yun, square root of d squared plus a squared minus 4f all over 2. Yeah. Uh, or, or if you don't want to use these formulas, you can use the completing the square method. Okay. And so we proceed now to exercises. Okay. Letter A, give the center and radius using the derived formulas. Center, negative 1 up d, negative 1 up e. Radius square root of d squared plus e squared minus 4 of all over 2. So, I will just uh, give you the answer and later on, you verify this in your scratch paper, right? I think the center can be determined orally, right? Just divide d and e by negative 2. Yun na yung center. Yung radius, medyo ko compute pa natin. Yeah? But if you can do it mentally, that's better. Okay, so for number 1, I think... Uh, what do you think is the answer? Uh, center is 9, negative 5, right? Yun, radius is 9. How about number 2? Uh, negative 3, 0 ang center niya kasi wala yung uh, y, y term. And how about the radius? Radius is 5, okay? So I think you can verify this. You can answer uh, later on in your scratch paper for your practice exercise, right? I'll just give the answer. And then, pra-practice kayo mamaya sa inyong scratch paper in your own, okay? You can screenshot this also if you want. And then, for number 3, we have, what do you think is the center? 1, 1, 2, right? How about the radius? 1, correct? In number 3, center is 13, negative 3. And radius is 3.87. So, um, it's, radius is not, uh, 
it's not give uh, it's not written in whole number yeah so meaning to say may radical answer yan yan sa radius so using your scientific calculator simplify it uh, in the decimal form and we have here center for number 5 is 14 negative 1 and the radius is 2 now letter b this time with solution to uh, I say, uh, reduce each of the following to the standard form using completing the square method. So, uh, complete the square method, uh, transform this to standard form. Then, from standard form, you can now see the center and the radius, which is 0, 8, radius is 10. Yeah, dito naman, center is 2, negative 12. Then, I'm sorry, 1, negative 12, radius is 5. How about in number 3? Center 1 negative 14, radius is 4. And how about number 4? Okay, mali, mali yung answer dito. Dapat.